this isn't so much as a recovery option as it is making sure I don't completely lose my advantageous positions in general, okay? Sometimes when someone gets out over your bottom hook, you, you know, you always have that choice. Do I try to come up to mount or do I try to chase the back anymore? Now, I want to react before the situation gets to this bad. Right now he's completely off of my knee and it's going to be hard for me to, to dictate what's going to happen. I want to react like as soon as he peels my foot off and I know I'm losing this situation by taking my foot all the way across and clamping down with not just my heel, okay? I want to clamp down with my knee like this, all right? Now, he's going to keep trying to push me away and I'm going to be pinching my knees together underneath his back and off to the side. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to let go of his body, okay? While pinching my knees. And I'm not just going to come up like this because if I try to come up like this, this is when my leg will weaken and he will push my legs away and he will get me back into a butterfly guard or a half guard or a full guard or whatever's going to happen. It's not going to be good. Okay. So as soon as I pinch my knee and I take my hands off from his head, I'm going to be flat on the mat. I'm going to turn away from him. I'm going to push myself up backwards like this. Okay. Now we can have different reactions off of this. Right now I was actually able to turn bird away from me because he's trying to push my knees off him still, which is going to allow me to drive my hand under his body. Now I can re-sit through and use this uh -huh. to pull him back to the back, okay? But I also could have just taken full mount. That's going to be very situational on how far I can get him to turn. So again, if he actually gets away here and then here, it's more important that I pinch my knee down than it is me clamping my heel on this one because I'm not going to be able to just sit him back to the other side, okay? Pinch my knee, turn away from him, push myself up. And again, when I'm pushing myself up, I'm actually trying to angle my ribs under his shoulder just a little bit. This is like a side thing to where if I get it, it's going to let me get in his back. Otherwise, I'm more prioritizing keeping mount, okay? Or getting mount. So push myself up and into him. Now that I have myself in now, now I can start looking for gift wraps again, okay? If I'm behind his back still, I will turn him and try to flatten him again. Now I can come around, start to chase the gift wrap, and then I can go high across again, and I can sit him back to the back again, okay? Now let's say he does, it gets out on this side. The thing about this side is that I'm actually better off just sitting up, scooching up and chasing his back than I am chasing mount. But sometimes you want to go to mount from here, okay? So it'd be, it'd be very similar. If he's across on the other side, go back a step. Okay, he starts to get out of my foot. I know I'm losing it. I come across like this. I start to turn my knee down, turn away from him, and then walk myself back up, okay? And now, depending on what's happening, like right now, he's got his hand posted on the mat in order to stop me from turning him all the way onto his stomach. That's when I start chasing the gift wrap again. And that's when I go for my high angle. High angle and drag him across. There is my back chase. So what you really need to take away from this is not to try to just come up to mount like this, because that's when you will lose it. I'll get top position, but I'll, he'll get guards back, okay? It's just pinch your knees in, turn, and push yourself up backwards. Corkscrew yourself up in the mount.